This gallery application brings smart categorization by analyzing all the images on your phone using AI and grouping them. With this, you can easily find specific images without scrolling. The app is called Super Gallery. On the surface, it looks simple with this LAD grid layout with the rounded corners making the whole UI clean. And it's quite unique too. You can simply scroll to switch between tabs. You have the albums, search and photos. And just like the photos tab, the albums tab also is very organized. Videos are also displayed in this rectangular form. It's all about shapes and rounded corners making the whole UI very pleasing. Under the search tab is where the magic happens. You get smart photo grouping with AI. Even though not all of them will be accurate, but majority get added to the right categories. You can access the trash, favorites, vaults for hiding media files, and in the settings you can change the grid size, enable app protection with fingerprint unlock, and to be able to access all features of the app, including the image editing page. Link in the video description. Moving on, this app comes packed with some useful media conversion tools like converting video to GIF, batch converting images, trimming videos, creating PDF from images, saving screenshots from videos. It's called Media Conversio, and it's extremely handy for tasks like turning videos into GIFs, batch converting multiple images, trimming videos, creating PDFs from photos, and capturing screenshots from videos. The interface is simple and removes unnecessary complexity. With the video to GIF tool, you can trim your clip, adjust the output settings, and convert it instantly. You can also convert up to 25 images at once, trim videos using a preview timeline, and extract individual frames from videos with adjustable output quality. It's a great all-in-one solution, considering you'd normally need several different apps to do all these things. Everything is free to use, although videos above 250 megabytes may not process correctly. This next app can turn PDFs into high-quality audio files. It's called Fratica, and it's surprisingly powerful. During setup, you can choose any of the available voices, and you can switch voices anytime depending on your project. You can import PDFs, Word documents, books, and more, then convert them into audio files that can be downloaded to your device. You can also send web articles directly to the app for audio conversion. There's even an option to paste text or add images with text to extract and convert into speech. After converting, you can play the audio before downloading it, and all previous conversions are saved within the app for easy access. You can rename and archive files as needed. The simple on the outside but very capable. However, I wish it allowed editing the extracted text, especially for text pulled from images because spacing, formatting, and number reading can sound strange when the text is arranged oddly. You get 20 minutes of audio conversion daily on the free plan, with an option to upgrade for more time. If you have multiple subscriptions, whether streaming services, productivity tools, or software, this app makes managing them much easier. It's called Subtrack, and it organizes your subscriptions into categories. If you have a local or lesser-known service that isn't listed, you can add it manually and customize the details. The homepage shows how close you are to your next billing date, and you can view your spending weekly, monthly, or yearly. It supports many currencies and multiple languages, making it great for personal use. Speaking of tracking, gamers will love Game Release Tracker. It shows trending upcoming games, lets you mark favorites, and allows you to set reminders for release dates. You can watch trailers, read game descriptions, check supported platforms like PC, Xbox, or PS5, and browse recently released or newly announced titles. Ratings and reviews are included as well. There's also a search bar for finding specific games. For movie lovers, Cinematic is another excellent tracking app. You can explore upcoming films, watch trailers, read summaries, and save movies to your watch list. The Library tab keeps track of what you've watched or saved. You can also create custom lists. There's a news section that covers updates about movies, shows, actors, and more. It's a beautifully designed and reliable app for managing your entertainment watch list. For daily productivity and mindfulness, there's a simple yet effective app called One Done. It helps you focus by allowing you to set just one main goal for each day. At the end of the day, you mark whether you completed it or not. Every goal goes into a category, and the app tracks your progress over time. You can turn on morning and evening reminders, 
Plus there's a widget, so you can see your daily goal instantly. It feels like a minimalist productivity journal, clean and practical. OmniTools is another multi-utility app that brings several useful tools into one place. You get an age calculator, savings goal calculator, time zone checker, fuel cost estimator, and many more tools grouped into categories like finance, date and time, math and numbers, units, data, and special tools. The special tools section includes a focus timer, barcode scanner, QR generator, and bill splitter. There's also a search feature, and the app is completely ad-free with a clean interface. LockBloom is a password manager that also includes a password generator. When generating a password, you can choose the length, toggle symbols and numbers, and decide between uppercase or lowercase letters. You can add notes, tags, and labels to each saved password. While similar apps exist, this one stands out with its clean, polished design and built-in security features like PIN or biometric lock. You can also back up and import your data. Finally, there's an app with a unique concept called Volume Scroll. It lets you scroll through pages using your phone's volume buttons. You can adjust the scroll speed and choose which apps it should or shouldn't work in. Since it uses the volume keys, you can still control media volume by double pressing or long pressing. I'm not sure how practical it is compared to simply swiping, especially since apps like Flex Scroll can auto scroll when your hands are busy. But the idea is interesting and creative. Comment below and tell me how you would use this app in a meaningful way. If you made it this far, drop a like and share your favorite app from the list in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel for more app reviews. Thanks for watching.